Welcome back to Amanda Plays Games. We are still on the Oregon Trail. Although technically it's the Chisholm Trail. From San Antonio, I assume, to Ab Abilene, Arkansas? Was it Arkansas or Kansas? I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> we are in Waco. And a new bridge is under construction. There's a bridge enthusiast here. The new suspen suspension bridge has been under construction for a few years now. It's a miracle of engineering. The double support towers alone are built with 3 million bricks, all produced locally. Once it's finished, it'll make crossing the Brazos River much easier, especially for cattle drovers. Unfortunately, you'll have to rely on the ferry for now. Uh-oh. Probably should sell fish while we're here. Or pelts. I've written to a newspaper in Nolens, Nolens, New Orleans, and asked them to place an ad asking for any information about my daughter. Oh no. I was sold to a different owner when she was just five years old, and I haven't seen her since. I don't know where she might be. Oh, I hope you find her. The construction of the Waco Suspension Bridge has been a major challenge. Most of the supplies were transported by steamer from Galveston to Bryan, then overland by ox and wagon to the construction site here in Waco. Even so, I'm confident this isn't the first suspension bridge I've worked on, and it won't be the last. Waco is a remote town, and they need an experienced engineer like me to supervise the project if they want to finish the bridge on time. Well, that would be nice. Okay. Let's sell pelts. Five dollars a pelt? Let's ha Oops, I hit the bat wrong button. Let's haggle. Nope. Man, everybody is not good. Eight. Forty dollars. Four wagon grease. Holy moly. Nope. Four pelts. Three toolboxes. Hmm. I guess, let's see, first. $36 for a knife. What was it for four? Oh, it's cheaper to just buy some. Buy a toolbox kit there. Mm, that would be forty-seven dollars. <sighs> and we can trade. We can sell some fish. Let's do that. We need a new knife. Okay. Confirm. We'll sell some fish. See if we can haggle our way up to two dollars a pop. Okay, cool. Congrats. Um, fifty. That'd be a hundred dollars. And we have enough. I'm sure. Yeah. Let's do that. That should get us across the river. Okay. And services. Um. No. Unless it's like five dollars to heal him. $10. Nope. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, no thank you. We'll um, rest for the night and then we'll head out and that should help him with his injury or illness. Let's get some lodgings, huh? Sound asleep, I've had in weeks. Does it help with the illness at all? No, nope, that's okay. Alright, let's cross this river. How much is the ferry? Five dollars per person and head of oxen. Thirty-five. Let's try haggling. Yep. Okay, cool. Best ferry operator in the West, you say? Well, that's mighty kind of you. Ferry operator blushes. Violet's charming flattery pays off. Ferry oper operator greatly reduces his price. Three dollars per person. Ferryman is paid and the party waits their turn to take the ferry. All right. Oh, I see in the background here, they're building the bridge. Take us across, ferryman. Thank you kindly. Ta-da! We've made it. The party alights from the ferry after a pleasant ride across the river. There we go. Let's head to Fort Worth. Oh, I didn't read the little thing. Sorry. Well, why are we... Let's do middle ground both ways. I can't believe I didn't realize that. Let's see if we can find some maze somewhere. Invigorated, they continue on their journey. It's supposed to be somewhere. It's something we can use. We can make some hush puppies or something. Or some cornbread. Hey, you folks are just who I was looking for. I've got an idea to boost the productivity of this drive that could, and could use your help. So I need bullets to make an explos to make it explosive. Oh, don't worry. It's just going to be a little one. The cattle have been dragging recently and they need a little waking up. A small explosion should be enough to startle them into picking up their pace. You're asking for a stampede, darling. Yeah. Of course, we'll need to control the stampede once it happens, but with George and Vicente flanking the herd from either side, we should be able to direct them forward. That is, once I tell them about the plan. Twenty bullets should be enough to set it up. What do y'all say to that? This could make the difference to our efficiency. No, let's not try to start a stampede. I'm sorry that you want to have an explosion. I can understand that. I feel the same way. I love an explosion, but not with cattle. Have you ever seen that movie Australia with Hugh Jackman, Nicole Kidman? That stampede didn't work out well at all. Really? It's a shame you don't understand the benefits this could have. Maybe we don't see eye to eye on this, but you'll have to have more faith in my skills if we're going to work together, work well together from here on out. Like, don't set off explosions near animals. Thank you. Bye-bye. Snake. Was that the map thing? Oh, no. Okay. We're harvesting good. But it's not corn. Ah, okay, so it is. Maize is not grown on red bu berry bushes. The party spies a small thicket of shrubs, which covered each covered with small red berries. If gathered, they have medicinal properties that can prove useful. Party also thinks they may be able to find maize for cooking. Ah, oh, jeez. But we're hopeful here. 
Why, how are you so bad? Trulius manages to harvest a few berries, though damage is the majority. He carries a small few back to the wagon. And I also notice a crop of maize. He decides to collect some of those as well. Uh, how is he so bad at everything? He's a mountain man. You're supposed to be pretty competent. And two maize. Okay, well, it's enough to maybe make hush puppies or something. Oh, the wagon condition. Wagon condition. Okay. Our bullets done fell out of our wagon. Nice. So we have fish heads, offal, and maize. So we can do one of each at the campsite. And see what that makes. Something fun, maybe? I was just checking because this is not our cat. This is not our oxen. This is the cattle. But, and since I boosted us up a, uh, a movement speed. I figured I'd check. Alright. Spares are still pretty high. Not feeling too bad. Okay, let's make some food. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's see what this makes. Maize and offal are mixed into a paste, packed inside the fish heads and oh, gross, <laughs> and boiled in salt water. Filling and full of flavor, stuffed fish heads are not something to turn one's nose up at when they're out on the trail. We have meat and fish. Why aren't we making them <laughs> food? <laughs> now that was good eating. Spot. Mm, tastes just like Abuela's cooking. Okay, well, I guess everybody liked it. So who am I to judge, right? I don't like... See, the thing that weirds me out is the fish heads. And it's purely because I don't like fish. And not just in like a... Well, I don't like fish kind of way. But in a they freak me out kind of way. They scare me. And so their heads... Just the idea of the fish head floating in a pot of something is not fun to me. But I guess, man, if it tastes good, it tastes good. Who am I to judge? If it tastes good, you eat it. And you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Party comes across a field of lush grass perfect for grazing. If there's time to wait for the cowboys, it might be a good place to give the cattle a rest alongside the party's oxen. Yeah, let's rest. Why not? I think we're making great time. This looks like a great place to feed the cattle and let them recuperate. Thanks for finding this spot. I'll round up the cattle and bring them in. I mean, winter is like 130 days away, so... Cattle and oxen spend several hours grazing slowly, enjoying the meal. They seem refreshed and good-spirited by the time the party is ready to set out. Everybody's hygiene is taking a hit, but that's okay. Uh. We are now out of actual meat, so if we come across a hunting ground... Um, that's probably good. Alright. I mean, yeah, it's just March. Where I live, in March it's still snowing. 
It hasn't stopped yet in March. So, it hasn't stopped yet in April for snowing either. Hey, where are we again? Fort Worth, right? We made it. I mean, this has been a pretty relaxed trip so far. Nobody's gotten dysentery. Nobody's gotten cholera. Poor Robert got shot by a stray bullet. But that's pretty much the worst that's happened so far. We have time in this episode to, I think, do all of our Fort Worth things before we head out. So I think I'm going to do that. So although small, Fort Worth is filled with possibilities for the future as evidenced by the construction and activity that is visible all around. The sound of the Trinity River reaches the wagon as it comes to a halt, a reminder that the trail is not without its difficulties. Okay. Ta -da -dum. Mm. No, we're not gonna spend the, t the money on hygiene because we can do the campsites. The northern march of the cattle trade seems to have filled the town with new vigor. Fort Worth has been getting a lot of interest from northern buyers now that the cattle trail to Abilene, Abilene, Abilene is open. Some people have even started calling it Cowtown. I expect that buyers will start opening headquarters here in the years to come. That's nice. Mahala. The effects of the <clears throat> excuse me. The effects of the war nearly ended this town. We completely ran out of food, supplies, and money. Almost everyone decided to leave. Why there were so few families remaining back then that I think I could name every single one. If it wasn't for the cattle trade coming this way, I don't think Fort Worth would still be on the map. Thankfully, our fortunes have our fortunes have been changing for the better these last few years. Miss Judah, I'm very much obliged to Mr. John Pratt, who runs a blacksmithing, a blacksmithing shop here in Fort Worth. I couldn't have set up my new schoolhouse without his help. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he's seeing more business now. He's so skilled that even the white community can't deny his ability anymore. I'm sure he's perfectly fine as a blacksmith. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think I need any of this stuff. What does he want for this? One, seven bullets. If we can haggle them down, maybe. Ta-da. Six bullets. I think I have like almost a hundred. I haven't been hunting very much. Yeah. Oh, sure. Why not? I haven't needed any stamina either. Uh, okay, so that's all good. Let's see, store. Let's get some food. Oh, we don't have any meat here. Do this one. Seventy five. That gives us two hundred and fifty pounds of food. And do we need and let's do one bit of bait. All right. Okay. And I think that'll be it. I think we'll be ready to head out the next episode. I don't think we need to rest. Everybody has good stamina. We just are down one, each person for hygiene, but 
That's easily fixed. So the next episode, we'll head out of Fort Worth and we will head to Red River Station. Um, but until then, thank you everybody and anyone who was watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.